Mechanical gaming keyboards have kind of become a must when it comes to gaming PCs. Despite their general lack of ability in helping you be better at games, at least compared to, say, gaming mice or gaming displays. Because of that, there's actually quite a variety of features that different keyboards offer to try and make themselves stand out. This one from Drevo, their grammar is actually pretty uh, standout in a couple of different ways. First, it's a 10 keyless 75% keyboard, which means that it's missing its number keys, at least in their usual place, and everything is crushed down into a very small package. You can see the difference between a standard size Corsair Strafe and this one. It is pretty incredible how small of a package this is. What makes this one specifically unique is that none of the keys that are actually missing, at least physically anyway, are missing in terms of their functionality. You still, for example, have a number keys or number pad set built into the center of the keyboard so that when you press the FN and numlock buttons, that essentially switches what those keys do and turns it into a full numpad. What's also unique about the grammar is its price. It's just £30, which makes it one of the cheapest mechanical keyboards on the market right now. Now, generally speaking, you would expect quite a lot of trade-offs for that price, and there are definitely a few. They don't use genuine Cherry switches, they use Otemu switches, which is one of the more reputable Cherry clones. They also don't have RGB lighting, it's only a dim white backlight here, so do keep that in mind. You do still have pretty decent build quality though, which is generally one of the things you would expect to be a corner they'd cut, but happily, Adrevo haven't gone down that route here. The structural rigidity here is actually pretty impressive. You do have a little bit of keyboard flex if you physically pick the thing up and torque it side to side, but that's not something that you would notice in day-to-day -day use, whether you're typing or gaming. The keycaps are also pretty nice. They're a generally good feel and they don't feel overly cheap in the hands. They are also technically double shot as they do have a translucent layer in the back to let through that white LED lighting. And you even have stuff like a removable type C cable on the back. Typing wise, it's pretty nice. I'm used to a full size keyboard. So a 75% TKL is a little bit cramped from my typing style. But if I got used to it, I would be more than happy to use this. The angle that the feet sit at is a little bit high, but again that's personal preference and so you might find that that's actually better for you or I know that a number of you will probably already comment that you shouldn't be using feet on keyboard anyway and so you can just use it flat if you fancy. And gaming wise it performed as you'd expect. It's a nice and responsive keyboard that I had zero issues with both the key switches and the general keyboard as a whole and so it's a pretty nice overall gaming and typing experience too. So would I put this on my desk? I think generally I'm a full size keyboard man, so personally I wouldn't, but I'd be more than happy to recommend this to anyone who's looking for a small 10 kilo style keyboard, or just anyone who's looking for a cheap mechanical keyboard, because the trade-offs that this thing makes are really the best options that I could possibly imagine to keep the price low, but still have a fantastic experience with very little actual functionality lost. Now with that said, those are my thoughts. I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. What do you think? of 10 keyless keyboards, especially ones that are this small? Do you prefer even smaller 60% keyboards like a complete madman? Or are you more like me and prefer a full size option? I'd love to hear your thoughts in those comments down below. And of course, if you want to pick up one of these or just check out pricing when we watch this, because it can vary. And of course, I've only mentioned UK pricing. Do feel free to check out the link in the description down below. That'll take you to your local Amazon store where you can see all of that. If you want to see more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, or videos about monitors, laptops, CPUs, graphics cards, motherboards, or really anything else PC gaming related, and sometimes even not that, then feel free to hit that subscribe button with the bell notification icon to be notified of those new videos. You can also check out the rest of the links in the description down below. There's Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links, which don't cost you anything to use, but massively help me out when you do use them. There's also a merch link if you want to pick up hoodies or t-shirts like this one. I really like this design. I know I've mentioned it before, but highly recommend check it out. Very comfy too. There's also stuff like private internet access, which is a great and cheap VPN, or Humble Bundle for cheap games that support charities too. You can also check out some more videos over there, and that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below, and we'll see you all in the next video.